All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be part two of the top five products available from Vargo Titanium. Now, before we get started, as you'll recall, I mentioned in part one that I would tell you guys in part two what I use the Vargo Titanium Tent Stakes for. Now, unfortunately, I won't be doing that because the item I was going to feature, one of the items in part two that goes hand in hand with these, I had to remove it. I had to. Um, after careful consideration, I realized it shouldn't be on this list, so I actually won't be mentioning what I use these tent stakes for in this video because it goes hand in hand with that product that I decided you know what really shouldn't be in this top five video I apologize however I will be uploading in the very near future a video detailing that product detailing why I decided not to include it in this video and yes, detailing what I use these Vargo Titanium Tent Stakes for. I apologize. Please bear with me, guys. You will get a proper explanation soon. Okay? Let's take a look at item number three. Okay? This is the... Vargo Titanium Flint Lighter and keyword being flint. Yeah, This is a great spark tool that you can use with your tinder under less than ideal conditions. It works very reliably. The body is titanium. The flint is replaceable by removing that screw and as for the gate clip, the shiny portion is stainless steel, the rest is titanium. Now, there are a couple of disadvantages. One, this little guy, as I mentioned, the dark gray portion of the body, that is titanium. This little guy is expensive, it is a luxury item, it's MSRP is one penny below $20. That's right. And you can get similar items with plastic or aluminum bodies. The only difference is they don't come with that clip. Now, as you can see, the opening of that clip is rather thin. So you can forget about clipping this onto your key ring even though that's what you're supposed to be able to do my advice get a small very thin split ring attach that to your key ring and then you can attach this to the small split ring that's on your key ring so you can easily take it on and off and use it whenever you want to other than the price and the narrow opening this product is excellently made and recommended. Okay, item number four. This is the Vargo Titanium Double Boiler. You can use this as a regular 900 ml pot with a lid unlike my custom made 900 ml titanium pot combination on this one the lid actually extends out and below covering part of the pot itself that pot is 900 ml and what you can do is use it as a conventional pot or you can take the lid flip it upside down and now you can use that as a double boiler 
Yeah, if you're looking for something that's useful for that, this is it right here. Let's take a look at the top lid bowl pan. The handles are a little loose and they're a little short, but this works very well as a small fry pan, as a lid, and with the handles folded alongside the body, you've got a pretty nice bowl right there. Conversely, the 900 ml titanium pot that it is mated to, the handles are a little bit tighter. They're not loose, that's a good thing. You can get a good three finger grip, quite comfortable. This is 900 ml and works well as a titanium cook pot. Okay, final product. This is going to be part of the Vargo Titanium Bot Line. There is basically three bots in their line. There's the 700 ml version with folding handles. There's the 900 ml version without folding handles. And then there's the Bot HD. That's what you're looking at here. The Bot HD has the same type of folding handles as the BOT 700. Now the thing about the BOT HD 900 ML pot is that it's actually smaller overall than it looks in pictures. Smaller and shorter. The handles do unfold, and again, you can get a good three-finger grip. Now, the bot line comes in stainless steel and titanium. Honestly, don't waste your time with the stainless steel. Yes, it's cheaper, but it has been known to develop rust issues inside the lid rim. So I would avoid that. Now the main problem with titanium is that if you try to make a threaded top like what you see here, there's going to be lots of galling. That's just the nature of the beast with titanium. Let me show you. I'm sure you guys heard that, and that was me unscrewing it slowly and carefully. Now, what you can do is don't ever boil water or try to cook anything in this pot with the lid screwed down. No, no. What you do is you unscrew the lid, turn it over, and you can place that on top and then you can boil your water. Now, this does make a pretty decent small bowl. And as you can see, there's a silicone O-ring all around. And it is removable. It's not glued in place. Now, I am featuring this product here because it deserves to be here. No other company makes a product with a, no other company makes a pot with a lid that screws on. However, all is not well with this particular product. Honestly, besides the specific issue with the stainless steel version, if you've got this screwed down and you're hiking along different elevations, you can get a vacuum effect. So you will have to carefully pry the lid up just a little bit from the bottom before you can even unscrew it. 
make sure if you have liquid not to turn it over on its side otherwise it can leak sometimes and cross threading wow is cross threading ever a major issue but other than those particular annoyances this does work well as a cook pot as a wide mouth water bottle and you can also use it absolutely as a beer stein. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.